as a leader and as a manager, your role is to alter the present situation into a desired future. Whether you lead your team into a new story or you manage them to consistently deliver on time what the customer wants, you inspire and instruct your team to take action. How successful you are at it determines the rate of progress of your organization. So what is the magic wand? What is the smallest unit of progress? You already know the answer to my riddle, but you can get better at it. Just carry on watching. Hello, my name is Pierre Bienvenu from MP. We are here to help remove anxiety from leadership as they gain greater clarity and control. Within Walking Distance is a series giving tips, tools and reflections for leadership. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the links relevant to this video that you will find in the description box below. MP. So let's answer the question. What is the smallest unit of progress and how can we get better at managing it? Simply, it is the task, the action, the to-do, the instruction. Not a step change, but a small yet important step of change. The context here is generally the standard meeting I was describing in my previous video. In the standard meeting, one of the key elements is for the individuals to be accountable to the team by agreeing on tasks. So we want to record the priority tasks. Those actions, if not taken on time, are increasing certain risks to the business, the customer or people. And delayed actions reduce the rate of progress of the business. That's the difference between dinosaur organizations and agile ones. The culture to not only close tasks, but to close them on time. Essentially, a task has three elements. Who does what? By when? Responsible person? Action? And due date? So it works well in standard meetings where we review previous due tasks on a regular cadence. Now, imagine that you routinely postpone your weekly management meeting. You also postpone people accountability by one week and the opportunity to raise more tasks. The smallest unit of progress. You just slow down your business and also frustrate some team members. There is an art in defining tasks, and many of you know the SMART acronym. Let's revisit it. SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, and Time-bound. Specific, use an action noun or verb in the task statement. Identify a single person responsible, measurable, Create an action which outcome can be clearly assessed. An action is either done or not done. Ask for evidence. Achievable. Break down an activity into several specific tasks. The assignees can only commit if they are confident that they understand the task and are confident they will deliver. A task is not a project and make sure that people don't overcommit. Relevant. Keep the meeting focus on its purpose and plan. Avoid spending time on defining tasks irrelevant for the subject at hand. Focus on priority task. Don't waste time on the mundane. Time bound. A due date is a must. If the task is specific enough, it should be all right. See what happens when the task doesn't have a due date. Nothing. Okay, that's it for today. Priority tasks closed on time define how quickly your business is moving. 
it's a habit you develop as a company culture and it starts with you as a leader. And this is the good quote for this episode. Leonardo da Vinci wrote, I have been impressed with the urgency of doing. Knowing is not enough, we must apply. Being willing is not enough, we must do. Isn't this beautiful? If you are one of the first three people able to identify the location of this view, you can meet with me for a free hour of leadership coaching. Just write the location in the comment section and send me an email at wwd at mp.solutions. Also, you may have a need to improve on your leadership skills turn them into good habits, or you need support to transform your organization. I can help you. Feel free to connect. I'll be posting the next episode in two weeks. In the meantime, lead well.